Today's topic is baby colic. Baby colic is a condition characterized by a prolonged period of intense and inconsolable crying for more than three hours at a time on at least three days of a week for at least three weeks in a rather healthy and well-cared-for baby. The condition is very common, affecting about one in every five babies. It is normal for babies to cry. At six to eight weeks, babies normally cry for two to three hours a day. But babies with colic cry suddenly for more periods for no apparent reason, and no amount of consoling can help make them better or bring any relief. Colic starts within the first few weeks of life and may peak when the baby is about six weeks, but declines significantly after three to four months. The onset of crying is usually in the evening or late afternoon. According to experts, colic has no long-term effect, and a baby with colic will feed normally and gain weight. It occurs at the same rate in boys and girls. Managing colic in a baby is very stressful, as it may cause depression, as well as contribute to exhaustion and stress in the parents. Causes The causes are unknown, but colic may result from different contributing factors, including undeveloped digestive system, food allergies or sensitivity, developing neurological system, infant acid reflux, tobacco exposure, especially during pregnancy, an infantile migraine, lactose intolerance, family stress or anxiety. Symptoms. Intense and inconsolable crying that may seem more like crying or an expression of pain. Flushed face. Crying with clenched fists, stiffened legs, stiffened arms, arched back or a tight stomach. Crying for no reason, not because of hunger or the need for a diaper change. Irregular and interrupted sleep that occurs as a result of crying. Extreme fussiness even after crying has diminished. Diagnosis and treatment. The doctor will carry out a complete physical examination to determine the exact cause of the baby's distress. The doctor will measure the height, weight, and the baby's head circumference, listen to sounds in the heart, lungs, and abdomen, examine the limbs, fingers, toes, eyes, ear, and genitals, assess the baby's reaction to touch and movement, look for signs of rash, allergies, inflammation, or infections. If the doctor suspects an underlying cause, laboratory tests or scans may be needed. Treatment. The primary aim of treatment is to soothe the baby as much as possible. Soothing strategies may help. Some may work better at a particular period, but not at another, while some may work better than others. Soothing strategies that you can try may include walking around or gently rocking the baby, using a pacifier, giving the baby a warm bath, taking the baby for a car ride or on a walk in a stroller, swaddling the baby in a blanket, rubbing the baby's tummy, dimming the light and limiting other visual stimulation, playing a soothing sound. If soothing strategies are not working, your doctor may recommend a short-term trial changes in diet. If mothers are breastfeeding, the mother may try a diet without common food allergens, such as dairy, eggs, nuts, and eat less irritating foods such as cabbage, onions. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.